Now let's understand the methods of separation for a mixture which has a solid and a liquid as its components. Now there can be two cases. In one case, the solids can be lighter component or in one, the solid can be present as a heavier component in a mixture. So let us understand the principle of those methods which are employed to separate a mixture which has components, solid and liquid. Solid and liquid mixture. We have a method called filtration. Then number two method is your sedimentation and decantation and number three is your sealing. Now let's understand the principle of filtration. Now filter paper this filter paper has a minute pores which allow liquid to pass through. When we pour liquid, it passes through and the impurities or we can say the component of a mixture which cannot pass through this filter paper remains in the filter paper. Now for example, we have this mixture where we have mud as solid component and then we have a liquid so now this is called solid liquid mixture. Now when we pass through this, when we pass through this mixture through filter paper, you can see the liquid passes through now slowly slowly the liquid will pass through the filter paper and the solid impurities will remain on the top of this filter paper. Now this setup is basically called filtration setup. Now the liquid which we get after this filtration, the liquid which we get here is called filtrate and the components which we get on the filter paper will be called residue. So there are two things. One is called filter paper. Number one, which is a method filtration. The liquid which we collect here in this glass will be called filtrate. And what is left on the filter paper is called residue. Now next is sedimentation and decantation. Now sedimentation and decantation is a method which is again can be employed to separate the solid component and the liquid component. Now what, we do, what do we need to do is we need to allow this, we need to allow this mixture for a while. What happens when you leave this mixture undisturbed? The solid components, the mud will settle down after some time. And the liquid which we get on the top may be clear. For example, this. This I have put 15 minutes earlier. Now see if you can clearly have a close view. Here you have the mud which has been settled down. And here you get a clear water. So this was before sedimentation and this is after sedimentation. So in sedimentation process, the solid which are heavy, they are settled down. This is called sedimentation. Now what is decantation? Now what do we do? We slowly, slowly, we pour this clear water. Now see, here you have the mud and here you have the clear liquid. So this is called decantation. From this glass, the clear liquid was passed to another glass. This is called decantation method. So sedimentation followed by decantation. Now what is the principle here? For filtration, the principle is the particles of very minute size can pass through a filter paper and the particles which are of not of minute size, they are bigger than the filter paper pores. They remain on the filter paper. So the principle is simple. Difference in the size of 
पार्टिकल्स ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ मिक्सचर डिफरेंस इन साइज ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ मिक्सचर सो फॉर फिल्ट्रेशन द डिफरेंस इन द साइज ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अ मिक्सचर फॉर सेडिमेंटेशन एंड डिकेंटेशन द वन component which is solid of a mixture should be heavy to settle down when the mixture is left undisturbed and the liquid gets clear on the top so the principle is heavy solid component now in case when the solid is not heavy in the mixture what do we need to do there is another process to make the solid component of a mixture heavy and by using alum a l u m now alum makes the solid components heavy what does the alum do simply when we put when we put alum in the liquid the alum sits on the solid components and makes the solid components heavy and starts the process now this addition of alum to a mixture to increase the rate of sedimentation is called loading so again i repeat the addition of alum to a mixture to increase the rate of sedimentation to increase the rate means to fasten the sedimentation so addition of alum is called loading l o a d i n g it's called loading so loading is a process where we put alum into the mixture to make the solid components heavier now third is sieving as i said now this is sieve now in this case where we have a solid and liquid mixture in the previous one we have used this for solid and solid mixture now here we will use it for solid and liquid mixture simply through these pores the liquid will pass like a mama do in a kitchen what she does sieving when she has to remove the tea leaves from the water so the water is when the water is being poured on the sieve the water is collected through these pores and the solid remains on the top so this is called sieving so it's simple the principle is liquid can pass through sieve solid cannot the solid of big size so the sieving method can be employed now after this discussion there is another important thing is when we are talking about solid and liquid mixture now in all these cases the solid was insoluble the solid was insoluble so it was easy to separate solid component and a liquid component now what happens if a solid is soluble then what would be the methods to separate those components that we will understand in the upcoming video next week if you have a question regarding these two videos please do write it to me i'll be happy to solve your queries based on these methods and the principle This video is supported by a worksheet and notes. Do write those notes in your notebook and do solve the worksheets and send it to me. Thank you.